Hey guys, hey, get a load of this. It says here there was a house in St. Paul, Minnesota that was knee deep in garbage. They had to use the bathtub as a trash receptacle. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> well, that is pathetic. You know, Benjamin Franklin had a great quote about cleanliness. Actually, I wrote it down. It's around here somewhere. Say, uh, do any of you notice a weird smell? <laughs> he who smelt it dealt it. He who denied it supplied it. <laughs> oh, no, it's not that kind of smell. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's uh, kind of a faint, soggy, rotting, melting industrial grandma smell. Mm. Yeah, I smell it too. I wonder what it could be. Hmm. <laughs> ah. Huh. The, what is it? Kind of a Gene jock strap, rotted meat, thing? vanilla, catcher's mitt, squirrel, kind uh, of a horseradish, slim jim, crappie. Kind of thing, mm. just vaguely, uh, maybe not. Whoa, uh, Dirty Boy and Service Master are calling. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Mike, Yog, Icky, look at you. You're living in your own filth. Ew, ew. You don't see us doing that, do you? Why, why, see how clean Frank is? Thank you, Clay. And you're very clean also. And you smell wonderful. Well, Frank, as you know, I bathe myself thoroughly whenever I get the chance. Well, I make the time to scrub myself six times every day. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm constantly digging under my nails, between my toes, and behind my ear. I soak myself for three hours after every meal. I've basically been in the shower since Tuesday. And you stopped. And the slime and the dirt just oozes. Oh, you're a fine one to talk, you with your clammy body. Clammy? I'm... You're clammy. You're king clammy. You're clammy. Oh, you're clammy. 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 <laughs> you know, guys, I think we owe the Mads a hearty thanks. It did get a little out of hand up here, eh? Another load has what a slime! Yeah, it's fun to clean. And, you know, look at all the great stuff we're finding, too. Huh? Well, look at that. Hey, hey, that's my mother! Huh. Well, still, everything's gotta go. Yep. Bye, Mom! Another load has what a slime! Okay, let's take a look at a job well done, eh? Kamba, give me rocket number nine. Ah. <laughs> hey, again, thanks for the gentle hint, guys. <laughs> whoa, 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 that thing's still moving. Oh, oh, ah, honey. I see a germ. I see a disgusting worm on you. Oh. Uh, anyway, Mike, first up, a day at the fair. Then we have code name Diamond Head. Push the button, Frank. Forget it. Push the button. I'm not done washing. Oh, I'll well, get it. Oh, you would do that. No. <laughs> No. Okay, oh, 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 there, oh, oh. that makes us feel a whole lot better, huh? Yes, and it brightens the place up. Oh, 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 oh you guys have to be like, go, 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 go. Oh, goody. Hey, at the fair. Ooh. Hmm? Yes, uh, Th no. Hey, I didn't finish. Oh, yeah. This is the fairground where the fair is held. Any questions so far? Every year about this time, this becomes a place of work and excitement. And romance and intrigue. Getting ready to hold the fair. These plucky Kiwanas stand to make a bundle. Here, the fun of the fair oh, is foot. in the making. Oh. All the shows oh, wow. and rides and make-believe of the midway. Ugh, Freddy Krueger. Hmm. Here, too, from far and near, farm folks are bringing in the products of the harvest, the choicest of their animals. Their dates. The finest of the things that are grown on the farms. Well, thank you, thank you. Couldn't have done it without old Ed here. Here at the Olsen's farm... Pain is everywhere. The fair, too. This guy raises dead-end kids. Into the truck goes one of the calves that Johnny Olsen has raised. Tell us what they've won, Johnny Each Olsen. Of the boys is taking his finest calf to the fair.
This is Johnny. The mean this one. This is bigger brother Bob. They need Rogaine. Sister Anne is going too. Let me out. She's taking her four pigs. Hitler's death car. Mrs. Olsen is ready to start. <laughs> but first, she must see what Mr. Olsen is taking to the fair. Oh, not your gallstones, Henry. It's a sample of his corn. Ooh. The very finest ears. And the small of his neck is nice, too. Everyone ready? No. It's time to go. Mm. No one can explain why father is 85. <laughs> and now they're off with mm. their corn, their pigs, and their calves We to have a day of work and of fun at the fair. Pa, slow down. You're doing 15. There's no one driving. It's a phantom truck. <gasps> Here in the big cattle barn on the fairground, folks are at work early, tending and grooming. Thank God methane rises. Bob and Johnny are there early, too. They're getting their calves ready for the show. Did Donna do this rinse? They comb and brush the calves' coats until they are smooth and sleek. His head's gone. Stop rubbing. The boys want the calves to look their best. You want bangs this time? Let's go with bangs, honey. This would be so nice. Over here, Anne is busy grooming her pig. Dad heads for the caning exhibits. She powders them all over to make them look whiter. A sprinkle a day keeps odor away. See how spotlessly clean they are. Which makes them so attractive. Who cares? They're pigs. But now, there's time to go sightseeing. Johnny goes first to see the fish. I like fish. <laughs> Say, these bass would make good fishing. If only they were in the creek back home. Well, see, they were in the creek, but they've been caught, and that's why they're here. Cause they... At the 4-H club show, Anne stops to see the model room. What's the grandma look? These have been made by the 4-H club girl. Ah, look at that. Brother Bob is interested in the butterfly collection. Too interesting. Here's a beautiful <laughs> case of butterflies and moths. This is one of the many exhibits made by the 4-H club boys. Later, these moths turn up in the mouths of Bob's victims. Ooh. Anne and her mother like to see the home canning show. Hmm. Here are rows of fine canned fruits and vegetables. Yeah. But Anne thinks her mother's canning is just as nice. Pickles pack the stands for the pickle races. <sighs> What's this? Evil! Homemade cakes. Oh. Thank you, Mrs. Khrushchev. The judge is deciding which one of them is best. Oh, this is good enough. First, she feels the cake. Then she rubs it into her hair. Then she tastes it. <laughs> what the hell is this? Ugh. <laughs> Judging cakes ought to be fun. But this woman sucks the joy out of it. Here in the grain show, Mr. Olson is watching while the judge decides which farmer has the best corn. I'll pay you. Come on, pick mine. The judge feels the weight and shape of the ears. It's all done behind protective chicken wire. Then he looks at the evenness of the rows of grain. Yes. And the size and shape of the kernels. Oh, my, yes. That's nice. Oh. But surely none of the corn is quite as fine as Mr. Olson. Don't tell your mother we've been here, son. It's time for lunch. Let's go eat something gray. Most of the visitors at the fair have a quick bite at one of the lunch stands. Oh, I'm lost. Mother! And a foot-long hot dog looks mighty good to these boys. Watch the boy on the left. His heart's about to explode. Wait. But here at the 4-H club camp, it's good, yeah. where many of the farm boys eat, they get fried chicken with all the trimmings. What, tinsel? Little lights? This is an actual 4-H feeding frenzy. Other fair goers like to picnic on the grass, like this. Grazing in the grass is a gas. Baby, can you dig it? <laughs> Next up, freaks of nature. Bob still has lots to see. This is a jet plane. Where's the corn go? Wonder what it would be like to fly it. Over Cambodia, secretly maintaining plausible deniability. Here is a tractor. It's much like the one Bob's father has. Except this one doesn't have father's arm stuck in it. He knows how to drive this all right. Okay, I'm a half a mile to the interstate and I'm out of here. Say, listen to the band. It's time for the parade. It's the Girl Corps, 100 magnificently trained girls. Here we are now, entertain us. I feel stupid and contagious. Admiral Halsey joins the fun. The family of shame. Captured pilots are paraded before the citizens. Women are excited by seeing the word member. Oh, my. The parade is put on by the farmers' clubs from all over the state. Scientists aren't sure what this represents. This float was made up by one of the 4-H clubs. In about two minutes. 
Jane. Now at the grandstand, the races are beginning. Get the car! car. There's carrots There's in the, the car. car! Carrots? I love carrots. And here come the racers down the track and away. A wheel slices into the crowd, killing three. Aye. Still, nothing measures up to those bass, huh? Mm. Here they come up the back stretch. I gotta go. I gotta and go. And really Bob gotta go. gets there just in time. They're into the curve. And they're into jazz. Come on, you chunk of dog food. I got a year's allowance on you. They're going into the home stretch. Oh, hey, guys, wait up. And here they come across the finish. The race is over. And the Oak Ridge boys take the stage. Elvira. Dad, I owe Big Lenny 42 large. Now it's time for the calf show. Bob and Johnny are putting the finishing touches on their calves. Adding hooker headers and Johnny decals. Johnny polishes up the uh, horns uh, till they uh, barely shine. Uh, uh, uh. And father, of course, stands by. Doing nothing. Now, the boys take their calves to the arena where the show is beginning. First is the evening gown competition. We have some tape of the calves playing on the beach earlier this week. <laughs> Into the big, shadowy arena, many other boys and girls are leading their calves. Here come Bob and John. What? I'm not sweating. They take their places in a long line. Of losers. The judge is to choose which among all these calves is the best. But all the calves are winners, really. It's just great that they got Bob involved. And Johnny, hope he'll choose theirs. Oop, hey, that's my scar. Up here, the folks are looking on. Let's get busy in the car, honey. Now the judge is coming down the line. He looks at each calf closely with a practiced eye mm -hmm. and quickly sees the best and the weakest points. He is all-knowing and wise. Now he orders the doubtful calves out of the show. The masked Avenger cow is eliminated. I hate these cattle calls. Too bad. <laughs> Bob loses out. Bob hates himself. But what about Johnny? Mm -hmm. He's still in line, and now the judge wants to see his calf in the open. He realizes he had not known cow until this day. He looks at Johnny's calf very carefully. He feels a stirring. But what's this? Here's Johnny back in line. Hmm. Well, it looks like he has a winner. Men are fools, dear. Remember that. Now, the judge is picking out the champion of them all. I am the greatest. It takes careful work to choose the calf with just the right size and build and weight and firmness. And overall panache. One by one, the judge ranks the calves and sends them back to their proper places in the line. Life goes on dull as before. <laughs> At last, the choice is made. But he won't tell anyone. It's so frustrating. The judge's work is done. He has picked the winners. Quite a coup getting Clarence Darrow to judge. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah. Well, the champion's blue ribbon goes to a girl. The cows are furious. <laughs> Johnny gets a ribbon, too. Yeah, thanks. His calf is a winner. Now, look at this. I got a stink in ribbon. Now the day's work is over, and it's time for fun. So they leave the fair. The gates to the midway open on a hundred ways of having fun. Or you can just get hammered. There are shows and games of every kind. And, best of all, a thrilling ride on the giant Ferris wheel. It's the man in the hat exhibit. Musty <laughs> Carney's drunk by 10 a.m. <laughs> Here they go. Quickly into the seat with the bar fastened tight to keep them in safely. Goodbye, Susan. If anything should happen, I love you. I love you too, Petey. And now the wheel turns. Up, up, high in the air. And this is how it seems to ride the big Ferris wheel. It's this disappointing. Now the director got Artie here. Dear roller coaster! Curse me. And now for a ride on the whip. Oh, this is how it seems to ride on the swooping, whirling whip. This is how it seems to be thrown clear as the cables snap. Too soon, the rides are over. The lawsuits begin. <laughs> and too soon, all the fun comes to an end. Oh, oh, but our friends are very happy. They've had a wonderful day at the fair. You spent your nickel, we're done. Wow, tonight on Generic TV Movie. Weather-wise, it's such a sunny day. Hey, watch out for my bike. Hey, I cracked their code. I'm pretty sure it's called Diamond Head. Code name, Cubic Zirconium Head. <laughs> 
Quinn Martin considered this his most personal film. Mm, father, what a waste. Is he our action hero? I want to see Don Ho. War, dear, would you see what little Elvis is up to? Ah, a little Maui Waui to start things off. Hey, that's no priest, that's Lovejoy. <sighs> Rosie O'Donnell in The Gauntlet. I want a picture of Lovejoy. Susan, you sit next to Lovejoy. Like Martin Short. I see my latest exhibit meets with your approval. And apparently Jack Lord doesn't even like it here, huh? Taking a greyhound to Hawaii wasn't a good idea. Ah, Mr. Jesus, you have a nasty habit of surviving. That's mine. I think that's mine. Oh, mine. That one? Yeah. Ah, the gripping luggage sequence. I'm not going to tell you what happens. I'm just going to say someone's luggage gets lost. Wow. Don't see me move. Okay. Gets lost. Ah, Mr. Handbag, once again I see that you are not on the carousel yet. Well, they better not lose my St. Peter's finger bone. It's like we just got out of gym class. That guy's a sinner. They're all sinners. Uh, anything to declare? I declare my genius. Thank you, sir. Hey, that guy. What was he declare? in? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was that guy in? Well, hello, in nomine patri. <laughs> anything to declare, Father? I'm Lovejoy. Oops. Not unless you wish to make a donation. I'm on a fundraising tour of your lovely island. Yeah, anything to declare? Maybe next time. Good luck. Thank you. And kisses. Enjoy the cocaine, Father. Luggage for flight 205. Take over for me, will you? I want to go meet Lovejoy. Damn it, security guard. This is not your personal war. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a little Vatican. I just met one of your priests. Real nice guy. Thanks. Message for Aunt Mary. Uh, what do you want? I was about to have my fruit cocktail, and now I've got to get off the couch, Wuckle. Hi, I'm Jeannie at DeVry. Hey, anybody here know an Aunt Mary? Corbin Project, how can we help you? Go ahead, you're clear to send message to Aunt Mary. Code 2. Tree may be in paradise. The hell does that mean? Over. On surveillance. Roger, message received. So what is the nature of the priest? Over. I should call Aunt Mary more often. Mm. Just waiting for my sister. Can I help you? What are you doing? This is a job for a regular guy. What the hell was I in? I know I know me. Hi, Mom. Can you follow that priest? Thanks. I'm ODing on intrigue. I needs to go coconuts a little. <laughs> Just no good. Why are you dropping me here? Oh, that's right. I'm a priest. They are really exploiting the island locations. Codename Gran Torino. <laughs> this guy screams Ford administration. Yeah, how many of these crappy Hawaiian pesos you want there? Right? Yeah. It's America. Someone should make love to this man. Well, you only rent holy water. <laughs> I'll just get a bulletin and tell Mom I went. Well, it's just a whim to follow that guy. Now I'm going to get in trouble at work. Hello, I'm no longer at La Brea 772. I'm going. Ha! Come back to AT&T. We're your friends and family now. Well, we finally got those horrible paintings off the ceiling. Well, you know, the Angelos were here, and they love that sort of thing. But there's this wonderful natural brick underneath that we just did. To... Whip this congregation into shape. Lovejoy's a hanging priest. Are you certain nobody saw you? Came in through the side door. This is why I, I dislike organized like religion. Vatican II, Shame the final you reckoning. Broke my cover. Now I won't be able to give you my blessing. Go in peace and live no more. The bells of Saint Murder, dying my lord. Hey, you trying to give me the hi hat? <laughs> <laughs> 
Ed Asner on ukulele. Jeez, have a sandwich. That's the smallest pool table I've ever seen. Or the biggest woman. Somebody told me I had the personality of one of these, so I'm curious. <laughs> Looks like he's got about, oh, 15 cents in his pocket there. <laughs> Play pool, the Pat Boone way. Ah, the patented van roll waist, yes. Well. No visible panty line. I can name that crotch in... Ah, I say the six ball in the corner there. Andre says you don't even come close. Yeah, I'll make it a deuce and I'll shave it any way you want. You got it. Brando! Hey, Johnny, isn't there anything you won't bet on? Yeah, marriage. <laughs> <laughs> no percentage. It's the stupidest bet I've ever seen. Friend. No checks. And none of that Hawaiian wampum buck. Great, here comes my mom. Aloha, folks. Nothing to see here. Keep it moving. Aloha. Now right, we're looking for Mr. Quinn Martin. Quinn? Martin? Yeah, we found your dog on the highway. Johnny Paul? Yeah? You're under arrest. For what? A and B aggravated on the person of one Harper Conyers, Jr. Hmm. Harper Conyers, Jr., the Welsher. You believe this, Steve? I had a frank and open discussion about his personal finances, all right? The charges were dropped a month ago. I was told to bring you in, period. Paragraph. All right, I'm all yours. Marie? You keep the party going, huh, baby? Ooh, she'll look like a game of ring toss before the night's Eight over. Ball, <laughs> corner pocket. Hey, you wrecked a game. Hmm? Roy Thinnis is locked outside for life. Mr. Woodman! Look, Carter, I don't like your kids. Looks like he belongs on the Ben Hogan tour. Aunt Mary, I could have found you without this escort. I needed you fast. Besides, it's good for your image. So was the luau I was having. Well, I could have been pruning roses. Now, there's a time and there's a place for fun and games, Johnny. I was stir-frying. Because that's why you cashiered me out of the Navy and stuck me into this assignment in paradise. I know my people. Besides, with three generations of Annapolis blood in your veins, huh? I knew you wouldn't turn me down. Okay, enough facts. Well, next time use a telephone, will you? Telephones can be tapped. This place can't. Uh, trouble, huh? I need the first team. Do you know this man? Sean Donovan. Lovejoy. Hmm. Hey, I can't pay this tab. One of the best. Until he went freelance and sold out his whole network, 28 agents. This was in 1973. A year ago, he was spotted by a stringer in Manila. New identity, code name, Tree. You should branch out. Tree? <laughs> Here in Honolulu? I had a call this morning from one of my men at the airport. Before I could get back to him, he was found hanging from a rope in a church. Yeah, Is he well hanged? Well, the Navy is working on a new magnetic torpedo at Kaneohe. Project Magnotor. The lab is working on a 21st century chemical explosive out at Makapu. The Korean ambassador is due sometime this week. They're loading a new Phoenix missile on an aircraft carrier, and we've just opened a new top-secret telecommunications center for the entire Pacific Intelligence Command. It's not top-secret well, now, It any one of those reasons or something else. Donovan has used at least 12 different identities. He's a master, but... He likes ladies and he likes gambling, Perfect. in that order. Now, I want you to find him, find out why he's here, and stop him. I'll give you all the people you want. Uh, Sulu and Sao Singh, that's all I need. Oh, and Bernie. Are you certain your gambler cover is clean? Stop Sir. yelling. Well, it better be, because if you know about Tree, Tree knows Shh. about Diamond Head, Aunt your Mary, code name. You can yelling. bet on it. Shut up, Captain Aunt Mary. I'll give you 20 to 1 odds I find him first. Oh, that's Loudon Wainwright. Oh, what a... Hey, do you mind? What? I'm reading here. <clears throat> it's that smell. Do you have to breathe on me? Shut up. Jeez. Oh, wait, I want to read you sighting. All right, but that's it, what? little boy. Come on, come on. We are going to hey, dance. Hey, 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 oh, guys, guys. <laughs> Come on. Be nice. Is it so hard to be nice? Yes. God. You know, you guys shouldn't open these pop cans if you're not mm -hmm. going to finish them. Okay? Yeah. All right, now be nice. All yeah. right? I'll oh, see you. Okay. Sure, thanks, Mike. Good advice. Dope. 
Now, if you ask me, Mike would be a little more interesting if he weren't so nice. <laughs> oh, is that so? Oh, magic voice. Seems, Seems to me you two don't appreciate Mike, Mike the way you should. should. That's, That's why Kamba, through the magic of his advanced computer technology, has put together a little presentation to give you a little peek of what it would be like to be around someone who wasn't so nice. Watch the monitors. <laughs> look at that, Zero. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to learn that magic trick. That's fun, yeah. huh? Yeah. I suppose you think you're being a smart aleck, don't you, mister? Hey, but, well, you let me tell you something. I'll wipe that smile right off your face. I was just... I was I, just... Don't shut your pie oh, hole. I know oh, a thing or two about a thing or two. Oh, I'm not going to take any lip from you. I'll tell you that right now. But we didn't... Do we it. didn't... Ow! You shut your pie hole. Ow! 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 ow. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm not going to raise any sissies. I'll tell you that right now. I know a thing or two about a thing or two. You guys got it easy around here. I'll tell you that right now. Look Look at this. Who opened this pop? Uh, is this uh, pop done? No, is this I, pop done? Look at that. Ow, Look at that pop. Is that done? You finished this pop. What about you? Look at this. Did you put this pop down here? Look at that. Is that done? That's not done. That's a done pop, okay? Okay, Kim, but we've seen it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> you guys done with these magazines? Oh, all right. Uh, okay, if I finish your soda. Mmm. <laughs> That's right, Father. Right? Honolulu is the oh. fastest growing city you? in the world. Are you the nice one? Mm -hmm. well, I, myself, yeah. I liked yeah. it better when the clipper just flew in once a week. Oh, yeah. I remember the day when there were just two hotels on Waikiki. Huh. Yeah. Code name receded. Well, paradise sacrificed to progress. Huh? Only three people living in the rectory? This is myself, uh, Father Wong, and Miss Ho. Oh, Yoho. <laughs> She's over 70. She's been my housekeeper for 16 years. She's still a hot. Any visitors? Well, apart from the poor soul who died up there. Thank you, Eddie. Oh, that was terrible. That was just terrible. Sorry, corned well. beef. Ugh. Oh, yes, there was a, a Father Horton, a Jesuit missionary. You know, he had to leave just after he'd been here for an hour. He had some bad news from home, he said. He was a lovely man, lovely man. Mm. They have to travel along? No, I did see the two men who came for him. They were old parishioners, he said. Asians. Uh, just, just one of them. Mm. Twisted old limey. <laughs> well, this is a very nice place. I could see why families would want to be... Ah! Oh, it got a Jackie Mason body. Well, the music is cool, but the words, Back in a second with the fellows Becky and the woman This is a song all about how he hates Jack Ward. <laughs> well, he's still got it. I remember when we used to go out. He was such fun. Wow, he's got the hips for this. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, chip, 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 a little, pick a little more. Everybody! When's Dave Delgado come out? Gabby Pahanui has left the building. Hey, Johnny, you want an autograph? No, why? I didn't know you could write. You had a job. Heavy? Heavy-ish. Mm, aren't they always? No. A couple of strangers in town, back alley types. One Caucasian, dark and wiry. The other is Asian. I think he's Japanese. You gotta find him, all right? Sure, can do. All right. But listen, Zulu, the guys are heavyweights, so ask quiet. Huh? Like a mouse. <laughs> you are a delightful man. Like a mouse, all right. A large mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel fresh, Johnny. Love. The lovely El Hawaii condominium. With off-street parking. Bell bottoms cleaned daily. Boy, is this authentic around here. Golly. Yeah. Hmm, let's see. If I don't eat for a month... The world of Suzy Wong, CPA. Hmm, did I want separate checks? She's, look, she's plucked her forehead to death. Yeah, well, my PhD's worth a hell of a lot. Oh, my bones came through my skin again. Guess who? Don't you ever knock? Mm-mm. It's the fun. 
Yeah, fun. <laughs> yeah, fun. I think the fun is already spoiled. Yep. Mm -hmm. Better find this man fast. There he is. He might be working for the same outfit that nailed you in Bangkok. Don't start. You know how rough they play. It's so a bar where nobody knows your name. Okay, she leaves. My line is. Uh, so, uh, you guys hiring any bus help or anything? Can I get a water or some it's not crackers? Not what they did to me or how they did it. Said I never got my it's side of pride. What they did to my family. All of them. I'm gonna sit this scene out if you don't yes, mind. Yes, I know how rough they play. Are they talking about the same thing? Why, Johnny? Why us? <laughs> well, we'll always have something or other. Every day, people get shot down. Boring. People get tortured by professionals who are paid by so-called patriots. Like Marty Ingalls. It's become <laughs> fashionable for presidents to lie, diplomats to steal. Oil companies to sponsor revolutions. Look, just take your last paycheck. I'm sorry, but you ate out of the bus tub. Some people can live with the taste. I can't. We didn't start the fire. Maybe I just like to play with matches, huh? There's my smile. Looks like it hurts to do that. As long as we don't burn our fingers. We won't. Ow, my fingers! Hey, she's wearing ooga horns. Well, where do we start? Well. Well, let's look at my deductions. We don't know what cover he's using. It'll be British, Irish, Australian. French, Italian, French. poppy seed, hot and ranch. hundred men that fit the description. This one likes pretty ladies. Hmm. You're getting warmer. Likes to gamble. You back room. Roulette. Uh, how many words? Sounds like... Uh, tables. That's for members only. And we're healed swingers. With an awful lot of letters. So sing. What I'm trying to tell you is that you're not going to have to look hard. This guy's in Hawaii. He's going to find you. Oh, are they in Hawaii? Chow. I'm stuck in this position. Help. Chow. Puppy Chow. I'm so hungry. Actual Lovejoy footage. Lovejoy, 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 Lovejoy. Oh, he's been promoted to Monsignor. Uh, Mrs. Bates wants her hair back. I've had such a bitch of a day. It's either the world's worst haircut or the world's worst wig. Vatican t-shirts, move with you. Gaddafi. <laughs> He's wearing a leisure uniform. <laughs> uh, where's my picture, Curtis LeMay? Ah, there it is. There. The only South American junta leader in the American <laughs> army. <laughs> Robbie Robertson on dress up day. Damn, they gave me clown white by mistake. I feel pretty. Now some red, red lipstick to bring out my teeth. Oh, no, sir, not Othello. Don't know why they wanted me to go undercover as Carol Channing, but... Hey, what happened to Ian McShane? <laughs> Going as John Waters? Nope, nope, he's going as Rip Taylor. I'm a general, it's funny, ha! Not really a perfectionist, is he? Now, who's that guy? Oh, it's me, a kidding. Absolutely marvelous. Now I can take tells wherever I go. Admiral Sid Dithers. <laughs> That's it, get out. I don't want to talk about it, sir, just, just get out, go. Hey, look, it's Ann Tennille. <laughs> Do you have a brunch here? Yeah, my name is Commander Yarnell. Would you call uh, Colonel Miller Butler, please, and tell him that we're here? Certainly, sir. Right. Now, you see, nobody knows here. what I'm uh, in. Just... Tell Commander Yarnell I'll be right down. I'm dressed right for the hot tub. Do you like this apple white shoulders? There. Stealing his blue blockers. There. Ha ha ha. Lovejoy versus Lovejoy. Pose him picking his nose. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoa, wow. Ho oh, ho, gotta get some reading glasses. There. I am the very model of a modern major general. 
Not bad at all. I do say so myself. <laughs> Hi, Lovejoy. Colonel. Hey, it's Lovejoy. Welcome to Hawaii. Commando, I always enjoy a vacation from the Pentagon. Professor N. Ping from the University. <laughs> Colonel Fester, I hear you and your colleagues have got some surprises for us up at Macapu. From what they tell me, I hope we're the last men on Earth to see it. Hey, this is a TV movie. Rip off. Oh, boo. You and your chaperone will travel to what is apparently Hawaii. <laughs> Oliver Twist had more Hawaiian locations in this movie. The Kentucky Cycle has more Hawaiian locations. Ah, the all-cat food store. Yeah, I gotta pick up a can of tampons for my girlfriend. <laughs> you have any canned items? <laughs> Across the street, room 205. Interpol did the rest. Just looking, thanks. Akio Sakai. A street kamikaze from Tokyo. Is he doing a limerick? He's a professional assassin. The other guy is Ernest Graber, once a contract hitman for East German intelligence. Always a contract hitman for East German intelligence. All Tahiti home now. Don't smell the bok choy. Very bad dudes. Where are they now? Staying with mom. Mama Chong's eating steaks. Well, I'll have three regular too. They show up, honk twice, huh? Yeah, sure. Hey, 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 you gotta pay for the Shiva. Where the hell did I park? There's a lot of goofing off in the undercover business. Shout, 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 let it all out. The Iger Sanction had more Hawaiian locations in this movie. It's the kookiest surveillance ever. <laughs> he promised Sid and Nancy he'd stop by. <laughs> He lives in Hawaii, but somehow he still has a furnished room in St. Paul. <laughs> Just have the urge to clean this lock. Ooh, spidery hands. Gollum breaks into an apartment. Gold? Gold burn. Ah, now the pain. Paragon Cable, just here to drill through your hardwood floors. <laughs> wow, that's a big ass phone. It's like Daddy O's apartment, <laughs> except for the big ass phone. <laughs> Forget it, no way. There's not a natural fiber on that man. You're going to call Sydney, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Take one of these now, and take one after every phone call. Well, it doesn't do anything, but at least he knows it's in there. This is the movie poster right there. Sold millions. Oh, yeah. Isn't that that guy who was on that show? What the show is... Well, it was a, sort of a Cannony McMillan and wife type of thing. Rope had more Hawaiian locations than this film. He's wearing Mary Tyler Moore's pantsuit. Well, he wants the match there. I'll put it back. It's kind of weird. It's Shirley Hemphill. At Benef at beneficial. Put in a matchstick and it's foolproof. Saves on a costly alarm system. Yeah. You'll I win. smell high karate, something fierce. Hey. This, this thing is damp. Hey, Carmen Miranda's in there. Now back to the jaunty Roy Finnis theme. This is so almost Mitchell. You know, it's about 50 pounds short of Mitchell. Maybe 100. <laughs> Any Pilikia? Back to the exciting tuna no store. I planted a bug where that he should have find it. When they do, they'll move on tree, I hope. You stay with him, huh? Right. Man, he's good at conveying incomprehensible plot points. Well, it's been nice being here in downtown Fargo, but I should be getting back to Hawaii. 
This is too nice a place for a deadly game of cat and mouse. People gotta start buttoning their shirts in this movie. Everything seems all right. Trust the matchstick. One thing is sure, we had a visitor. Let's take this place apart. Let's put the ceiling where the floor is. Danny, let's get a two bedroom next time. It's crowded in here. Uh, are these your tap pants? I need to call dad, it's been too long. Premature flute music. Uh, there's always been a bug in here, right? It's okay. All right. There's a rattlesnake in my phone. The new Cadillac lease program. One simple upfront payment of forty-seven thousand dollars. You can't have Van Dykes in the Navy. Well, it's a slacker Navy. See, I've written a lot of checks to Devani's. Go right in, sir. Got the Navy wrapped around their fingers. <laughs> yeah, you jerks are no better than me. Glad I went through boot camp for this. Join the Navy and see the world. Yeah, more like open gates. It's a security guard. Oh, sorry. Gee, they fenced in the entire ocean. They're making a stop at the lumber yard, I see. We need some plywood and a thing to roll the garden hose on. Okay, do you have brunch? Why, hello, Captain Steubing, Merrill. Uh, gentlemen, uh, you've already met Professor Anping. Ping. How are you, Professor? <laughs> Dr. Sherman, Dr. Yamamoto, this is Colonel Butler. Not Lovejoy. A pleasure. What's with your mustache? This isn't the Pentagon, Colonel, but I think you'll find this interesting. Oh, I'm sure I will. Shall we begin? The begin? <laughs> Little... Yeah, never mind. For security reasons, we maintain our experimental laboratory below sea level. <laughs> sure you do. Our test began with a rare cone snail called the cloth of gold. Holy cow, are they below sea level. On contact, its microscopic needles inject alkaloids, which paralyze the central nervous system. Instantaneous death. But it's so good with kids. We extracted the liquid poison, vaporized it, added some leather, with dioxin, <laughs> and gas in its own right. The result was astounding. Sweet. Hey, Mike! Mike! Hey, Mike! 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 Hey, Mike! Mike! Let's Mike. play some wiffle fungo. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I really liked you guys, but. I gotta finish alphabetizing my CDs. Oh. I'll see ya. Huh. Jeez. Okay. Cal, I'd like to suggest that Mike is less than a fulfilling roommate, mm. but I'm afraid magic voice will... Thank you, Crow. Oh, I'm not no. finished with you yet. Let's see what it would be like if you lived with, oh, say, a crash test dummy. <gasps> Brad Roberts! Watch what we're out here. Was close. Yeah, point taken, Magic Voice. <laughs> All right, got the CDs alphabetized. Who's for Yahtzee? Oh, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> Movie <laughs> sign in three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. With unlimited killing potential. Amazing biochemical breakthrough. Incredible. But you must stop these tests. We outlawed chemical warfare eight years ago. How much of this gold cross have you made? Only Lots. enough for the underwater test. We destroyed the rest. Normal precautionary measures, Colonel. We can't have these experiments falling into strange hands. Of course. I think I don't know that. May I see what precautions you've taken? And stop thinking that I'm Lovejoy. We maintain two safety checks. Then that's First, about it. The gas is locked in this compression chamber <laughs> and kept under pressure. Then your class ring is buffed and polished. 
Oh, that's no good. That'll ruin a planet. <laughs> Additionally, the vial itself is also pressurized. I mean, usually it's pressurized. And we pay a high school kid to keep an eye on it. And your research? Still got two weeks before the report's due. It's all been recorded on tape. Formulas, chemical compounds, every step of the test from the very beginning. Including the exact amounts of the mixture. Well, when do we see the underwater test? Colonel, surely you've seen enough. Commander, your report mentioned two tests. Until I see both of them, I am not authorized to give a final judgment. I hate you. Very well, Colonel. Gentlemen, we have to fumigate the tank, destroy the toxin. We have to completely redo the upstairs. Noon tomorrow. Mm, I was going to play golf, but no. I know they think I'm Dennis Weaver. You think I'm Dennis Weaver, too, don't you? Yes, you do, you do. Young and strong and tan and lovely, the guy from eat beneath the clothes walking in. Hope he owns several of those shirts. Hello there. I'd like to make a person-to-person -person call from that one guy to that uh, other one guy. Maybe I should introduce myself. Maybe he'd like me. Telephone for Colonel Butler. Call for Colonel Butler. Or Lovejoy. It's hard to organize a junta in vacation land. Colonel Butler speaking. Thank you. Thank you. Well, give him his binky and put him in his crib. I don't know. There's something else. Nobody quite knows where they've seen me. Whoever planted that bug is an amateur. Wrong. Yes. There's an American in deep cover here, codenamed Diamond Head, and he's good. He made it too easy for you. Quiet. Meaning what? Meaning he expects you to lead him to me. You're being followed. First, lose Diamond Head's man, then set up at the diving shop. Contact our friends. Damn, I'm on speakerphone. Cone to prepare the alternate escape route just in case. We go tomorrow as planned. But well, what about this diamond head? He's looking for tree. You'll find him. How? It's my job. Tell Sakai to call me. I'll do the rest. Hold it. Turn. Beautiful. Perfect. Tonight, one of these three contestants will find out where they've seen this guy. Tom Jones. Nipple! Yes. Oh. Oh, butt grabbing slack. <laughs> when you're proud of your crack, and it shows. <laughs> Speed starring Keanu Reeves. The FBI's gonna pay us all to surf? Well, I better get to the banana splits auditions. Genie? He would have to have dry vocals. <laughs> the hair is built into the hat. Oh. Oh. oh, it's probably Sherry. She probably wants to talk about the breakup again. What can I doodly do you for? I come up. Yes. He's, he needs some psst. <laughs> you know. Now, where's that skort outfit I packed? Wow! Whoa! Ah! No, I tell you, I get no respect, no respect. Oh, everybody wants a piece of love, Joy. Only any. Graver said you wanted me. In the worst way. There's a disco called the Dragon Lady. Moored in Honolulu Harbor. Be outside on the upper deck at 2200 hours. Problems? I'll be posing as that gentleman. Basil you? Phillips. Very British, very obvious. Very fair. Well, Sakai. Take a good look. I'd hate there to be a case of mistaken identification. That could be fatal. <laughs> We're taking a midnight stroll. To Georgia. If my instincts are correct, I'll be having company. Unwelcome company. I understand. On Sakai. Turn down the bed, will you? No marks. No hits. No errors. Nothing for the authorities. Sakai, if you walk out that door... <laughs> He's very raccoon-y. Hmm. Good thing he uses smudge-proof eyeliner. 
Ed Shaughnessy, Hawaiian style. A salute to careful shaving. I don't know what it is or how it's done, but I like it. <laughs> San Diego chicken, then. Oh. Hi, here for the Daniel Inouye fundraiser. Uh, he's going to have a Montclair moment any minute now. Serve vodka with one ice cube only. Good ice. luck, buddy. We have one. I'll be fast. Dear bartender, I like you. Do you like me? Check one. Saran wrapped. Would you give this to so sing? Sure, Mr. Lovejoy. Give everyone an ice cube on me. That's all annoying music night down here. I hope someone else is hearing that. Stomp, ladies and gentlemen. Stomp. Stomp. I could have done that. Mr. Phillips, you asked to see me. I'm not wearing that, I didn't. Your reputation doesn't do you justice. What's your pleasure? My pleasures are personal. I never mix them with business. Beauty and brains in the same lovely packet. You know, your back room is almost as famous as you are. They say Lux a lady. Then she should be quoted. Whoa, we got a live one here. Jackie. What? You feel better? Yeah, be sure to come back. I'm freezing you a special ice cube. <laughs> yeah, uh, North Star Ice? Yeah, I need another ice cube. Well, I better Johnny. make it four. So Sing wants you. Pronto. Ah, go fish. The house shows ten. Play these. Whoa, whoa! whoa. <clears throat> you seem to do well here. How much is a four worth, you know? I give my customers what they want. The exotic orient and nook of a charge. Anything else? Information, for example? Information is like sex. <laughs> you can sell it 50 times and you still own it. <laughs> sex, An yeah. exchange, then. You. A diamond head. I don't understand. Mmm, good ice cube. Five years ago, an American intelligence agent in Bangkok lost her cover. Her family was liquidated and she was subject to the usual brainwashing. Mm -hmm. However, her people got her out and they relocated her here in Hawaii, naturally under an assumed identity. Is this your she dessert menu? So soon. Birthday prayer for a special friend. Mm. Kate Jackson. Ooh, the smart one. You have a saying, all Asian look alike. That is so racist. I, oh. Oh, I wouldn't bet my life on that. Woohoo! I mean, there's a contract out on this girl, and there are certain types here in Honolulu who would enjoy collecting you. It's a weird hat Ooh. she's got. <laughs> His diamond head. You have made a mistake. I do not look you long. Oh, diamond head. He's got his own airbag. Uh, Racco. Pay 20. So saying, anyone ever tell you this is against the law? <coughs> Diamond Head. Where's your Diamond Head? Uh, it seems I win. We are playing for matchsticks. Oh, blue tips. Strike anywhere. Oh, congratulations. Basil Phillips. Johnny Paul. Friends call me Diamond Head. I should oh. warn you, Johnny does this for a living. Oh, that pay good? Come on. I'm gonna chase him away. You know, in retrospect, the luggage scene was really fascinating. Oh, yeah. You look like a gambling man, Mr. Phillips. Well, I, uh, I take risks. I'm in this movie, aren't I? So only when I know the odds and the adversary. You make a game of chance sound like a battlefield. Oh, love, Joy. When the stakes <laughs> are high, that's exactly what it is. A gospel according to Napoleon. Spoken like a true fop. Spoken like a military man. I'm lost. Is this an action sequence? <laughs> uh, actually, I'm into the money game, you know, real estate investments, that kind of thing. A little bit of fun. Trying to 
trying to get a conversation going. So going. But only when I know the odds. The house shows a queen. Stand. Play these. Uh -huh. Blackjack, the house wins. Correction. You win. Savoir faire is everywhere. It's been a uh, pleasure, Mr. Paul. The diamond, uh, Paul. Mr. Paul. Do try the ice cubes. If I uh, hear of any good investments, I'll be sure to look you up. You do that. Is it just me, or did nothing happen? <laughs> <laughs> it's one rat and poker player. He knows who I am. He knows who you are. And he knows who he is. Get Zulu here fast. And you stay here. Wait for my call. She looks like Jiminy Cricket. Uh, sir, sir, we're setting up in here. Sir, could you... Oh, oh man, I want those bell bottoms. Hmm? Hmm? Action Kendall is there. Take a picture, it'll last longer. You know, when this originally aired, at this point, everyone had turned to Carter Country. <laughs> yeah. Right, Zulu. You better come over as fast as you can. Jenny Craig, put me in reverse. Isn't it time for... <laughs> Asthmatic hitman. <laughs> we need a table bust, Phil. Johnny! <gasps> Fajita! Well, maybe I overreacted! Johnny! What'd you do that for? Like a bird, like a plane, like an idiot. Well, hmm. Huh. Well. <laughs> One more minute and he gets his advanced beginner certificate. <laughs> Come on, you guys gotta see this. Control. My ties on the house. Come on. Oh. Help. I can't swim. Help. Fortunately, polyester washes up so nice. I told you to stay put. Oh, it's my fault. <laughs> Tree used me to get to you. What are you talking about? His man was waiting up there long before. It's Tree. He's been ahead of us every step of the way. Uh -huh. What happened? Tree. Cyanic acid pack from up there. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Got drunk and fell over, huh? <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> There's the one called Sakai. What about Graber? I lost him. He made a phone call at Waikiki. Then he evaporated. It's Tree again. You gotta find those two. They've gotta have a backup house somewhere. You okay? No, I'm not, but will you get moving? I'll bring you the heads on a plate. What about me? You bring the sauce. You're out of it. Why? They broke your cover. You gotta go home, lock your door, and stay there. Don't let anyone except me. How about you? They think I'm dead. I've got an edge. <laughs> Johnny, please. Yeah, I know. Be careful. Actually, no. Kind of looks like Squiggy now. Code name Diamond Head Cold. Yes. Captain, I have an Aunt Mary Code 7, line 2. It's on scramble. I'm not here. Johnny? Tree broke my cover. <laughs> How? He knows who So Sing is. <laughs> he went for the phone tap number. <laughs> Took a big risk in showing himself. <laughs> He's ready to move. All right, I'll tighten up security all over the island. He used the name Basil Phillips, British. I don't think you'll turn anything like up. Simon but, uh, run it down, huh? <laughs> Tomorrow, same time, same place. You. Sure. What with all the poi? Code name Bobby Goldsboro Hare. Undercover Asian midnight fantasy. Oh, Daddy! Oh. You know, our whole Get family here. gathered around the TV to watch her on this show. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Ted Turner in frenzy. Go get help! I'm 
sorry, sir. I'll have to check your pass again. I'm betting they filmed this scene the same day as the other scene. Certainly. Brilliant. They're doppelgangers. Doppelcoppers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Colonel. Hi, Mr. McLeod. Could I stand on that side of the door for a while? Oh, we're so far down. We have the band. Sorry, we're running a little late. Oh, please push it, Doctor. The Army keeps on a tight schedule. May I use your phone? Certainly. Decompression temperatures, Doctor. Do you have a readout from the test yesterday? Yes, Doctor. Colonel, is that a local call? The barometric components varied dramatically from previous tests. Yeah. Dialing. The expansion <laughs> of the biochemical reaction was greater than we had expected. Yeah. Due to Boy, I sure get a lot of messages. <laughs> Certainly, the compression factor went beyond our calculations. Um, yes, honey, I'll be here a while. The unexpected aberrations of compression, heat, and barometric Basically pretty popular, you know. I'm afraid some of our electronic recording instruments were not adequately programmed. Well, the Navy keeps ships in commission a long time, doesn't it? Wow. And those of you who would like to be keel-hauled, go to the right. Mm. Those of you to be pin-swiggled, please the make your way to the left. The was built by the Scots in 1878. It's one of the largest four-masted square riggers ever constructed. She later sailed from San Francisco and was converted to an oil tanker and led a long life freighting oil to Hawaii. But enough about me. Now the sole surviving example of a sailing oil tanker. Roy Finnis, a cop who doesn't stay in line. Ah, the curio shop. <laughs> Hello, Money Penny. You were right about Basil Phillips. He died 40 years ago in infancy. All Tree did was phony up a passport. So it's a dead end. Anything on Tree's men? Not yet. We're running out of time. Excuse me, my underwear is buzzing me. McIntosh. Control. The body of Colonel Butler was just found. Apparent accidental drowning. Since he was cleared top secret, mm. I thought you'd want to know. Message received. Thank you. Oh, I and the tourists all know who you are. Butler was a top ordnance expert. Pentagon. He arrived here two days ago. What was he doing here? Macapoo point. Macapoo point. That's it. <laughs> Tree was taking Butler's place. He's after the chemical explosives. This is Aunt Mary. Patch me through to Yarnell. And it's shields. Urgent. Sorry, sir. The line seems to be dead. We're too late at the lab. Tree has to have a backup someplace. Now find it, Johnny. You got it. This is Aunt Mary. I'm ordering full alert. Repeat. Full alert. I want you to go all out. Use the station wagon. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Sharon Wilkerson, Debbie Johnson. Okay, go right in, ladies. Yeah. Officer, open the gate. Officer, shut the gate. G.W. Bailey. Right, we stuck into the drive-in with four people in the trunk. Woo, geez. It's a station wagon. Robert De Niro was clinging to the bottom of the car. All right, gentlemen. We have filled the tank with salt water and pressurized it to simulate a depth of 40 feet. Now, if you will observe, the gold cross is in the center of the tank. Dollsville. We will be ready for ignition in approximately 60 seconds. It'll be the longest 60 seconds of your life. I cannot program this thing. It's always 12 o'clock. This time, it will ignite on electrical impulse. Mm. Combustion the will be caused by a combination of the impulse and the water pressure itself. You will Open note that underwater, D, please. the heat factor will be minimized, but expansion due to combustion Here, will here's be a pen. Who needs a pen? We'll be ready in just a moment. Is uh, that poison gas part of the presentation? Ooh, good thing he didn't leave that pen in his pocket. Mm. Open. Even. <coughs> yeah, El Marcos are like that. Dinky. <coughs> well, apparently the colonel has his own little agenda today. <coughs> Here, fall by me, Brad. Get out, must. Must. There, I finally have the dryer to myself. Thank you. <coughs> I'll just put it on light fluff for a while. Boy, it's tough when Barnaby Jones out actions you. Jackie <laughs> <laughs> checking his tire pressure. Don't it again. <laughs> An elaborate plan to soften the military's clothes. 
Yeah, like I mean this. Addie's podcasts are dead. <laughs> I'm leaving early because I have things to do. Don't check down here. Well, they managed to pull that off without a moment's suspense. Oh, even though it's a caper, there's still time for a scenic overlook. Oh, that's smart. They're carpooling for the heist. Robert Goulet, getaway driver. Driving Miss Lovejoy. All right, switch it to Lola Flanana, will you? Oh, it can. Now back to Codename Diamond Head, starring that one guy. Oh, this looks like a good place to put up their roadside poison gas stand, don't you think? Mm-hmm. You said you had a cabin. This is just property. It's not a keg, you idiots. It was tight. Too tight. Close doesn't count. Wrong. And Sakai, you were clumsy last night. Diamond Head is still alive. Look, I saw him fall. You missed. Me. How else could they be so close behind? We're only minutes ahead. We are still clear. Not until we're off this island. You let the air out. And now they'll have every artery blocked out of here. We're in a trap, and it's closing in. Did you make contact? Rendezvous is set for 1,600 hours. Well, that's it. Go to the shop and get everything ready. Hey, hey, hey. hey, No, no. no. I'll take care of that. I'm sorry. I'm just mad. Way to guard the government, jerk. But all that papers were in order. Oh, I guess that makes you a good guard. Uh, yes, that's right, Captain. Butler's gone. He left with two men in an official sedan. How long were you out? Five, maybe ten minutes. But all their papers were in Captain, order. That formula is lethal. Now get out and alert. HPD, civil authorities, and the state police. I want APB on three civilians. Mary. Two Caucasians, that's one it. Asiatic, and give Brother. them the description of Butler. Butler's? The real butler is dead. The man who stole that formula is a double Who's agent. Butler? Now get on it fast. Now, let's see if anyone wants to go to lunch around here. Do lunch? You want the Navy, Air Force, and the Coast Guard commanders right away. Yes, sir. Put the campfire girls on standby. <laughs> Mr. Lord, Mr. Fat, you. Great floors. Here in Jack Lord's palatial estate in Maui. <laughs> Got hammer toes, hammer toes. <laughs> oh, come on, we paid to see the whole guy. Ah, oh, he's gonna put ice down her back. <laughs> <laughs> I think this week I'll have something to eat. My compliments. Thank you. What? Hey. Sunlight flatters you as much as candlelight. Inside. But we still have to hear them go. What do you want? Inside. Okay, fellas, I made some snacks for you. Enjoy. <laughs> hey, thanks, Mike. Yeah. That's great. Want mine? <laughs> yeah, like I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I'd like to suggest that Mike isn't a very good cook, but I'm afraid that magic That's boys That's right, you ingrates. Oh. How'd you like to live with the frugal gourmet? Oh. Hello, my friends, and welcome. Today we are making Indian saffron soup, and if you've never had it, it's absolutely wonderful. Let's get started. I was just throwing in a few more ingredients. What? What you need and what is essential to this dish is a fresh robot net. And look at this thing. Look, isn't that wonderful? See how it glistens? This is wonderful. You know, don't write in. For heaven's sake, you know, robots are not extinct. They know that in India, and they have big, wonderful meals using fresh robots. So let's get started. Now we need to add a little fresh ground pepper. And look at this wonderful pepper mill that I got here. There's a story behind it. I went over the hills into Soviet Georgia, and I got it from a little old woman with a club foot. We talked and we laughed until... Can I have your autograph? Shut your pie hole. <laughs> Try to do a show here, for heaven's sake. Anyway, I know a thing or two about a thing or two, and I know that our time is done for today, so that's it. 
I bet you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. I know. Horrible. It was terrible. I could Okay, how are the snacks, <laughs> me amigos? Oh, oh Mike, your old fruit bath, they're better than any cloying old Seattle windbag could ever make. Yeah. Oh, I you didn't have to say that. It's true, though. It's all over. It's We're doing some sunset diving, and I want you to act the part. I got the part. I got the part. Yeah, you know, I should really work on that case, but uh, I can't remember what it is. Sorry. Fill her up, matey. Zulu told me to find you. Hey, he told me to give you an address. Where? Well, he said it'd be worth 50. Well, doing where? The diving shop on Berriton Hare Street. <laughs> hey, Johnny, what about my 50? I'm Richard Harris. I wonder if they have anything scuba-y around there. Hmm. Underwater-ish. She's driving, so technically she's an accessory to her own kidnapping. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice terry top. Can't afford to break up now. <laughs> Whoa, Big Johnson. The Mercury. Oh, Big Mercury, then. Remember, just right. ask for minnows. One last detail. Outside. Watch it. Sure, I'll watch her. No problem. Watch it away. Gawking okay? Whoa, can do. Hey, you're that guy. Cheese. Their pants are hurting me. If those pants were any tighter, they'd be behind her. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, urinal cakes, my favorite. We're on the brink of two people actually interacting for the first time in this movie. Now, I smear the cheese on the counter. So are they biting on leeches today or what or not? I want this cleaned and I'll pick it up Tuesday. I found him just before we left this morning. He was playing Peeping Tom. He's probably one of Diamond Head's men, which means he can't be far behind. I'm still here. Take the truck to Makaha and burn it along with the Hawaiian. Then catch a commercial flight to Hilo and I'll contact you there. Good we haven't got an apple to put in his mouth. Well, I'll stop by the farmer's market. Oh. Never mind. We just ran out of time. Let's go. But I like being a hostage here. Aha, uh -huh. see, it's uh -huh. a clue that uh -huh. she's... Somewhere on the island. Ah. Whoa, Lovejoy's packed tight in denim casing. Skin on Lovejoy. <laughs> that uh, nitrous is for Grandpa, and I've got the vegetable powder for Grandma. Well. Huh. Filmed on Minnehaha Avenue in Minneapolis. Yeah, only the interiors were shot in Hawaii. <laughs> Gotta get an outboard motor, but fast. Oh, honey. Well, that store certainly invites the customers in. <laughs> I wonder if she uh, left her ring in here with some wax and a map or something. Probably. He's there for his nursing shift. Excuse me? Need a dozen shiners? Hmm. Let's see. Well, she usually leaves a ring, wax, and map thing out here on a dock someplace. You know, there was a time when Roy Finnis's agent returned his calls. Begrudgingly, but he mm. did return them. I haggle with this guy. Too. Tonight on a very special Ravi Shankar P.I. He's going to kill a guy who's detailing his van? I'm okay with that. <laughs> a wise guy holding. Hands on top of the head. Fast. Move it. He had all afternoon to plan this move, and he screwed it up. The good guys in this movie aren't very good. Mm -mm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please come for some lumber and get your face kicked in. 
scattered crates really add a lot to the ambiance. <laughs> you know, you hardly ever see this sort of thing on TV movies. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, book yourself, Dano. I'm out of here. Now to get to the sag wagon. <laughs> oh, for yeah, you are the worst assistant I've ever had. How was your date with Madonna? I'm kidding, that must hurt. <laughs> what happened? Are we... I forgot to duck. There were at least 20 of them, and what they about took You just missed a minute or two, no more. Uh, I'm really a singer, that's why I'm tied up like this. You tie this guy up, not HPD to the rest, huh? I like to use barbed wire. Uh, yeah, have your fun. I'll go capture the terrorists. Hey, my friend has a ring just so like that. Sad. She wants to break up with me. Hey, 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 that's the director's coke. <laughs> I'll just call her and find out what the whole ring wax thing means. Hello, Steve? Royce Dennis, close off the whole island. And Mary, code seven, urgent. Hello, dear. Johnny, tree's headed for So Sing's trimaran. It's the dragon lady. It's moored at Honolulu Harbor. A sailboat? Sounds fun. He must have friends waiting from at sea. Mac, he's got so sing. He's got that formula, and we've got to recover it. Mac, I want a shot at him. So sing knows the rules. No friends in the house. And so do you. I want to stop that boat at any cost. You owe me. Don't you sass your Aunt Mary. You've got 30 minutes. Then I pull the trigger. We got 30 minutes. Da, 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 da. Oh. Jeez, I should take the boat. Boy, you know, I remember when this aired, an entire nation was riveted. Everyone was talking about it. Hey, switch on name of the game now, will you? Oh, I forgot. It's the wrong yes. decade. Hmm? <laughs> she was going to name her boat the Stereotype, but she's decided on Dragon Lady. Yeah. Tonight's episode, No Soap or Buffet. It's a pity we never met before. Espionage is such a small community. It's quite like a little family, really. In that we all drink and hurt each other. <laughs> What's in the bottle? Ah, to some a whirlwind, to me, the only reality. $500,000 in a Swiss bank account. I meant the red bottle. Oh, that's Tia Maria. Oh. It's Hawaii or Seattle? have asked you. Oh, forget it. How many people died for your Swiss bank account? A lot. We don't have exact figures okay. yet. Cost of running business. That's a price no one can pay. Or has the right to. Right. You'll be waving the flag next and George, Queen and country. There's no such thing, girl. The world is run by politicians oh, who boy. demand respectability without virtue. Pleasure without payment. You without me, sir? And blind men to bury their honorable dead. I just balance the scales a little. Acting. My way. Even in hell, you will balance the scales. Right, Mr. Donovan? No, no, you are, but what am I? Just you. I'm sorry, that was uncalled for. No, Sam Elliott. <sighs> Please allow me to introduce myself. Herbie, what are you doing? Burns and Shriver to the rescue. <laughs> Another member of his crack team. Hey, TV's Frank named that boat. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, he's got a figure like Marsha Brady. <laughs> hey, you should never run on a dock. Don't worry about it. You'll get it. Come on. Stutter up. Where are we going? First thing's trimaran. You should be on the outside, Mamala Bay. What's in it for me? You'll get another 50 bucks. Now start it up. Hero gets rattled very easily. There's dead involved now. The intrigue thickens. I can't look away. 
Right. A trimaran called the Dragon Lady. She's probably outside the Koalo Basin right now. And when I overtake, order him into the wind. If he opens fire, yeah. respond. Stop yeah, that boat sound. no matter what. Yes, sir. <gasps> Jim Henson. On deck. Stand by to get underway. I hope. Take in all lines. <laughs> Let's go. Priority one. The Coast Guard for men too chicken to join the Navy. Hey. Cut. Like I'm going to get beat up by a sailor? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stay on this course. There. Won't be long. She's been surreptitiously spreading jewelry behind the boat. <laughs> Derek Jarman's blue had more action than this movie. What's this all about, Johnny? Where's your flare gun? Here. Where I always keep it. What do you want it for? What's the range? The flare will burst at 100 yards. How are we going to want so seen? Fly the cocktail flag. Nobody ever flies that going out. Only way there's the saloon in sight. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. America's cops got really exclusive. Stand by for mild interest on the high seas. Ian McShane in. in. I think we have got company. Oh, no, mother. Now, who is it? And I want to know the truth. Hong Kong Muldoon. He runs a charter. Gee, your top smells terrific. Oh, they're still tied to the dock. Let's see. Let's see. What else? And did they get my corrupt politician spiel yet? Ted Kennedy died. <laughs> this is like the end of the firm, except it's uh, coherent. Ooh, really hairy legs. Oh, ah. I'll stay aft. We only get one pass, man. Hey, I've never let you down yet. Well. There's a lot of money here, Mitchell! <laughs> yes, I'm that guy. Yep. <laughs> Ah, sail was polyester too. Uh -huh. Rat patrol, that's what you were on. <laughs> Watch it, Johnny! Watch the shirt, Jack! Johnny! What excuse, Tweet? Come on. Uh, my mom said I couldn't. Uh, dog ate my homework. Uh... But he's basically saying, make my day. Yeah. <laughs> for lost causes. <laughs> this is such a satisfying conclusion. This is certainly worth waiting for, huh? Mm -hmm. Pity we don't have an apple to put in his mouth. Oh, I had that coming, friend. <laughs> I'm proud of you. you okay? And, uh... Let's do some nitrous. <laughs> That's the stuff. The news, fellas! Here comes trouble! So the whole point of the caper was novelty items. I'm so glad they got together. Let's switch it over to Heck Ramsey now. Oh, anything. Epilogue. Okay, let me guess. The last words in this film are going to be... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Two a te crayon, baby. That's French. It means you were a crayon. <laughs> <laughs> never cease to amaze me. Hmm? Jimmy Chase? I didn't know you could cook. I didn't know you could eat. I'm a maze of hidden talents. Yeah, very well hidden. What about my reward, huh? Ooh. I do have some rare Maori carpets. Marijuana carpets? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm so fat for you. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I have your gum. 
Hello? Ah, uh, this is Quinn Martin. Uh, we're not going to series. Nope. Yes. Just a minute. Quinn. You? And he didn't give his name. Where are you going? <laughs> I think it's your mother. Yes. Hello. Johnny? I can see I you. I'd like to know the gold <laughs> cross formula has been destroyed. Click. And the British have had a safe <laughs> tradition on Donovan. Yeah, maybe in about, oh, 200 years. Well, fine, it's over then, right? Oh, this job, yes, but there is something else. Not tonight. I'm worried about security for the Korean ambassador. Oh. I'd like you to look into it. Who is it? So, tomorrow, same time, same place. Oh, it's right. so, it's almost pointed how they're trying to set up the series. Oh. No more of that nonsense. About the Maori carvings? Oh, yes, I want to see those. Oh, they're in my halter dress. Yeah, Maori carvings, yes. I know I'm going to be very impressed. <laughs> yes, sir. Code name Interruptus. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Johnny! Hello there! <laughs> I can't get this guy off my back! I just... oh. Excuse me, Mom. Johnny! You owe me a hundred bucks. Oh, that's right. Uh, oh, the fifth year. for a party, love. Come on! <laughs> oh, they filmed the cast party. <laughs> huh. They rounded up every Jimmy Buffett fan on the island. <laughs> Not Burl Ives. Now, I wouldn't be able to make love in the same room as Burl Ives. Mrs. Burl Ives can't make love in the same room as Burl Ives. Whoa! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Stay tuned for your local news next on this superstation. Like there was any talent. <laughs> talent supervisor? No. Yeah. There wasn't any. Teets! 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 Is that it? No. Yes. Uh-uh. Yes. Western okay. Airlines now out of business. Hawaii <laughs> in the background. Mm. Ford Motor now out of business. And a luck a luck a luck a luck a woo. And a luck a luck a luck a luck a luck a woo. And a luck a luck a luck a luck a woo. I hate this life. You know, ever since I adopted the authentic Hawaiian lifestyle, I feel like a changed man. You look like a changed man. Well, that is an attractive skirt. Darn right. Don't you have some kind of a top to go with it, though? Ah, tops are for tourists. This look is the real deal. You say so. Hey, Mike. Yeah. How would you like a nice Hawaiian punch? Yeah, that sounds refreshing. I think I will have one. Thanks, bro. You want uh, one? Yeah. Y you really want a nice Hawaiian punch? Yes, I do. Say, sure. <laughs> okay, sure. Remember, you ask for it. One Hawaiian punch coming up. There you go. Great. Hope you well, like it. Yeah, <laughs> great. Thanks a lot. Okay, uh, I probably should read a letter here, though. Wait! Don't read that letter yet. Let me interpret the letter in the authentic Hawaiian fashion using the expressive native dance, the hula. You see, in the hula, every movement, every bodily nuance tells a story. Here, let me see that letter for a second. Okay, here we go. Uh, what do you think, huh? Uh... That was interesting. Thank you. Not at all insulting, either. Huh? Huh? Yeah. No, not at all. Why don't I read the letter, though, for you not acquainted with the authentic Hawaiian lifestyle? Sure. Uh, put that up on Still Store. Kamba, thanks a lot. Uh, this says, Dear Mike Crow, Tom Gypsy, and the rest of the crew at the Satellite of Love. That's us. Hi. Thanks for reading my first letter on the air on Saturday, February 5th. Me and my friends started screaming. Wow. Kim Ooh. Metner taped it for me. Everyone in my biology class knew about it. And I played the tape in my health class for everyone to hear my name on the air. Oh, that's We're funny. reading a letter on the air from a woman whose letter we read on the air. Well, yeah. We're kind of a book in. Yeah. yeah. Every yeah. six weeks, we'll read her yeah. new letter when she gets excited about this one. Cool. And we'll read the next one. Well, I think well, that's all from us. Bye, well, then. we got things to do. I'm much cleaner than you are, Frank. I've already removed all my vile flesh, and now I'm removing that dark stain from my soul. That's nothing, Clay. I'm all the way down to original sin. Oh, yeah, well, I'm... What are you looking at? 
Haven't you ever seen two men practice a little personal hygiene? Hmm? You got a problem with that? Well, I'll put an end to this little naughty voyeurism right now. No, I'm totally clean, Clay. Clay? 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 <laughs> Ah, ah, hi. It's 